Well, what an end to that women's singles semi-final. Li Chang Mi through to tomorrow's finals. We've got one more semi-final for you next. It's the mixed doubles. It's the number four seeds. And last year's winner in Kim Hana, but this year she's playing with Seo Sung Jae. They're up against the Indonesians. Havis Faisal and Gloria Emmanuel with Jaya. The mixed doubles draw, you can see there from quarterfinal stage onwards, well, we had three Indonesian pairs yesterday and four Korean. Just the one mixed European pair of Rob Matsuyak and Olga Konan, who had to withdraw from the tournament before that quarterfinal took place. Which means we are guaranteed one Korean in the final and they're already through Choi and Che the number one seeds who just went through on court number two. Let's see who they'll be facing tomorrow in the final. We've got Seo Sung Jae and Kim Ha Na against Faisal and Wijaya up next. Well, the young hopeful Seo Sung Jae. He's playing with Kim Ha Na, who looks to make it three Korea Masters mixed doubles titles in a row. She's won the last two years with her former partner, Ko Seung Hyung. To prevent that happening today in the semi-final, we've got Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Wijaya. won the toss today seems to opt for the far end of the court to start the match if possible top of your screens suggests to me there is something in the drift conditions within the arena and it's the Indonesians that will start the match from that end And let's take a look at our two pairs then. Seo Sung Jae. We saw him earlier on today, the 20-year-old from Jeonju in South Korea. This time in mixed doubles with a world ranking of 12, his career high. He's playing with the former world number one. Kim Ha Na, 27 years of age from Jiju in South Korea. Gigi, where we hosted last year's Victor Korean Masters and where Kim Ha Na, with her former partner, won the Korean Masters for the second time in a row. This year making, or looking to make that a third time in a row if possible. Fairly comfortable semi uh, quarterfinal yesterday against Kim and Lee, their teammates, 13 and 18 in less than half an hour. A tricky second round against 
Chang Ko Chi and Cheng Chi Ya from Taipei. 16 and the third. Today they're up against these two Indonesians. Havis Faisal, the 23 year old from Jakarta. A fairly new pairing. Hence the ranking of only 111. Has been much higher, uh, much higher with his former partner. Was up at 19 back in January this year. His partner today, Gloria Emmanuel Wijaya, the 24-year-old from Bekasi in Indonesia. And again, much higher ranked with a former partner at 11. Eddie Subatia. That was back in November 2015, two years ago. And much like the Koreans, a tricky second round against a Taipei pair. Liao and Chen in the three games. But a good performance yesterday against He Yong Kai and Tan Wei Han of Indonesia, their teammates. What a performance that was, in fact, 16 and 14. Our umpire, Lao Chen Li from Malaysia, back on court. And her service judge, again, who umpired a match earlier, Sakamoto Emi from Japan. So Kim Hana looking to make it three Korean Masters finals in a row and to win all three as well if possible. Seo Sung Jae, her partner, already through to tomorrow's finals in the men's doubles. That was our first match on court earlier this morning. Waiting in that final in the mixed doubles tomorrow, Choi Solk Yu and Che Yu Jung, the number one seeds from Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Imano with Daya, Indonesia. And on my left, Seo Seon Jae and Kim Hana, Korea. Kim Hana to serve to Happy Faisal, Lobo, play. Oh, Kim Hana with the opening serve. And Gloria with Jaya using that long reach of hers to full advantage in the first point. Well, big smash from Hafiz Faisal. the tallest women out there 
Gloria Wijaya. Unbelievable, she needs to look for an advantage like a high serve. Yeah, well played, Kim Hana. Going over the top of Faisal instead of laying off. Catching the Indonesian by surprise. Well, that net cord helping Faisal and the Indonesians with the early lead. Yeah, well played, Kim Hana. Well, Kim Hana's feet rooted to the floor in a bad position to defend. Sideways on, as you can see there. Her feet were front and back and pretty basic footwork error really from Kim Hana. Good backhand from Faisal. Yeah, good experience from Kim Hana there. They forced Gloria back. And the space really opened up in front of her. Brilliant from the Koreans. 
Xiao Xiong Jay seeing the space over the top again of Faisal. And an easy kill in the end for Kim Hana. Well, brilliant play this time from Faisal. Dragging Sio very wide with the soft shots and opening up the space for the power. Oh, great defence from Gloria. Well, they deserve it, the Indonesians. That's a two-point lead at the break. Good attacking play and the pressure on the Koreans at times. Hold one, 20 seconds. Hold one, 20 seconds. 11, 9, play. Wow, big smash once more from Faisal. Punishing the short lift from Sio. Well, good patience from Wijaya. They were trying to keep her at the back. Ahead of Fence standing up now. And it's in from Sio. Important rally to win for the Koreans, despite the broken string. The final shot was played already with the broken string. Impressive stuff.
Washington. Great return of serve. Well, unbelievably, Wajaya had two swings at that shuttle. 15, How does anyone have time for that? Go and that caught the air shot and then somehow able to get another racket to shuttle. On this occasion, it did her no good. 15-12, the lead for the Koreans. clear to Kim Hana did the damage. She was lost on court for a moment. And the stick smash doesn't come back from Havis Faisal. from Faisal. Well, the pressure was really on the Koreans. Tremendous fighting spirit to stay in the rally. Well, service judge called into action. Some confusion as to what really happened, but I think the service judge called a fault. And crucially, the Koreans with a two-point lead.
That's great pressure from the Koreans once more. Very organized attacking. game to the Koreans it was close for three quarters of the opening game the end of that just seemed to run away from the Indonesians Seo Seung Jae and Kim Han Ah lead in this mixed doubles semi-final 21-15 Maybe the change of ends will help the Indonesians. One long. We saw in the women's doubles earlier on that this near end bottom of the screen seemed more preferable to play on with the conditions in the arena, the drift. Kim Hana, good backhand drive. Oh, and a good pick up again. <laughs> Faisal doing everything he can, but the defense oh, from the no. Koreans too good. And the umpire, rightly so, trying to keep things moving out there. Too many delays between points today. What a great defense from Sio, but he couldn't keep the last backhand in court. Three, one. 
Well, the Koreans looking reasonably comfortable out there. It's been a good few months now these two Koreans have been Four, playing together. One. Their first win back in Chinese Taipei in the summer. Followed by a win at the US Open also. Their only other final was more recently at the Macau Open. But a few quarterfinals in Super Series Premier events. Puts them high up the rankings already at number 12. The Indonesians, although strong, still trying to get more experience together, really, just their fourth tournament in international competition. And this result here, win or lose this week, equaling their best result to date, semi-final at Bitburger some weeks back. Well, great play again from the Koreans. The push didn't get past Gloria at the net, but what a cross-court forehand from the left-handed Seo Sung Jae. Deceptive hold, Seven, such confidence. Seven, three. And then anticipated the straight drive. Seo Sung Jae, so Service close. Up again, Seo Sung Jae. Service over nine four.
Well, again, pouncing on the weak net. Service over. From Ajaya. Ten, Good six. anticipation. Expecting Kim Hana to push forward, perhaps. Confidence in opposite roles, the Koreans. Service over. Seven, ten. That big smash used once more from Eight, Faisal ten. to great Ooh. effect. Some great rallies and some scrappy rallies, really, that first half of this second game. Crucially, the Koreans in front by three points and a game up. Characteristically, Kim Hana letting the side down after all that hard work from Seo. Pick up from Sio. Incredible defending from the Koreans. Good push from Kim Hana. Service over. 14, Just passed her opponent at the net. Forcing Faisal to stretch out. Thank you. 
Great smash from CO into the body of Vijaya. from CO, great defence again. Far wide, but wide it was. And Seo Sung Jae having an incredible game here in the mixed doubles. Good pressure from the Koreans. This match, it seems, is all but gone now for the Indonesians, seven points behind. And Seo and Kim need just three take their place in tomorrow's mixed doubles final against their teammates from Korea. Well, Vijaya doing all she can to keep the pressure on Kim, but what class and skill at the net. Such confidence. Shaping to play the push and then letting the wrist drop to play a soft net shot. Gloria, and half Come here, come here. Gloria, come here. Come here. You don't delay the game, okay? You don't go to the back, you don't do the game. One more time, umpire ah. urging players to speed things up. Speed up the inevitable, perhaps 19 11, and now 20 11 game point match points match point to the Koreans. Yeah, and it's gone yeah. long. A fantastic second game for the Korean pair and well deserves their place in tomorrow's mixed doubles final here at the Korea Masters. Match won by Seung Jae and Kim Hana, 21-15, left. Well, their defence was almost impeccable at times, the Koreans. Kim Hana showing us her former world number one class at the net, and, well, Seo Seung Jae, perhaps the best player on courts, despite the speed and power of Hafiz Faisal. What a match for Seo, and a great result for this Korean pair. They take the game, straight games, and take the match, 21-15, 21-11. Well, that's it from us here today at the Korea Masters. And what a tremendous day of semi-final action it's been. First up, we had the men's doubles, a thriller. Kim Won-ho and Seo Sung Jae, who we've just seen through to tomorrow's men's doubles final. Lost the first 25-23, but came back 12 and 15 in 58 minutes. In the men's singles, we saw Jeon Hyuk Jin too much today for Kosit Petrodab of Thailand. Straight games, 21-16, 21-14. In the women's doubles, it was a very endy match. 
They seem to struggle from one end of the court, but Kim So Hyong and Ko He Yong were too much in the end for Chao Ming Kwan and Li Meng Jian. 21 12 in the third in less than an hour. The closest match, perhaps, women's singles could have gone either way. Li Jiang Mi overcame the Chaon Jindapol. 21-19, 21-19, and we've just seen a very fine performance from the Koreans, Seo Sung Jae and Kim Han Ah. They beat Faisal and Wijaya in straight games, 15 and 11. We'll be back here tomorrow for finals day. Please join us again then. I'm Bobby Griffin saying thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again tomorrow.